faced the glamour and the excitement of a modern city called Dubai was the ideal location for a 2020 contest between defending world champions Pakistan and England, a two-match series that promised delirious action and memorable moments. Both teams arrived in the city with contrasting performances. While the Englishmen drew the T20 series against South Africa in November 2009, they also created history by being only the second nation to win a one-day series against the Proteas in South Africa. England have the runs they need. They win by seven wickets. And they also take the lead in the series. Pakistan, on the other hand, had a disastrous outing in Australia where they suffered a whitewash in all formats of the game. They also established a dubious record of being only the second Pakistani side in their ODI history to suffer the ignominy. This result had wider repercussions, with the Pakistan Cricket Board sacking the entire management staff including coach Intikab Alam and skipper Mohammad Yusuf. To top it all, Pakistan lost Shahid Afridi for two matches, with the ICC banning him for ball tampering during the fifth ODI against Australia. As a result, Pakistan was playing without their talismanic player in their first match. Going to these tumultuous events, the Pakistan Cricket Board ordered for an inquiry and elected to go in for a transient team. They appointed former opening batsman Ijaz Ahmed as a stand-in coach and Shoaib Malik as a stand-in captain. If this wasn't starting on the back foot, then Malik's statement in a pre-match press conference revealed the state of mind of the Pakistanis. When you lose, and when you lose badly, then uh, you have to uh, take this uh, criticism. And uh, uh, I think uh, uh, we have these uh, two matches which we're going to play uh, from tomorrow. And uh, for us, we just want to play cricket. and. We just want to do well for our country, for ourselves, and uh, that's uh, all we want. Stand-in coach Ejaz Ahmed had been handed a squad featuring only six of the T20 World Cup winning squad. And with his team demoralized, facing a strong opposition, it was quite an unenviable job facing the former test player. Well, morale is very high because I've spoken to the boys. I said, you're a world champion, you know, and you played the final uh, uh, as well in, in the 2020 World Cup. So you are the best. This is the reason, you know, you won the World Cup last time, you know. And I hope, you know, the, which, is the series, which is the series they lost in Australia, you know, I said it's a history. You know, don't think about that, you know, think about the future now. Malik admitted that he was just a stand-in captain and that the real leader was sitting out for the match, a complete surrender of his captaincy and leadership ability to shy the freely. I prefer uh, to play as a player more and I think uh, shy the freely uh, is the right choice for this captaincy. I think uh, shy the freely has that all the abilities to uh, gel the boys together and uh, because We've been playing together from the past uh, 11 years, so uh, in my opinion, he's, he's the right guy uh, for the captains. Despite facing a less than equipped and leaderless opposition and a good performance in South Africa, the England skipper was not willing to tag his team as favourites. Um, we certainly go into the game as underdogs. I think um, Pakistan have been a, a well-drilled 2020 unit um, You know, over the last few years. I think they've the stat was they've won um, 20 out of the last 20 years, 2020. So it's uh, it's some record they've got, and um, you know we're going to have to play to the best of our ability to beat them tomorrow night. But um, we believe we've got the skills. We believe we've got the players. We we think we're improving all the time as a um, as a 2020 side and a one day side. And um, we're becoming a um, if we play well on our day, we can beat anybody on our day. So um, it should be a good game. With both teams seeing this two-match series as a perfect precursor for the T20 World Cup in April, the stage was set for a good battle of wits. We will catch all the action after the break, but before the experts get on, here are some opinionated fans. Pakistan definitely start as the favourites in this match. We're looking for 2-0, aren't we? We've got to be confident going into this one. I feel that you know they should attack from the beginning because it's only a two-man series. 